Hey guys, this is Scope. Welcome back to the seemingly never ending Let's Play of Pokemon Soul Silver. As you may notice, we have just entered Mount Silver. We are attempting to make it to the end of Mount Silver to fight the final battle. But first, I have finally finished grinding, and it's just enough to get to the bare minimum to probably beat the final battle. Let's see exactly what I've done, shall we? Alright, so I got Gator to level 65. Um, his moveset now consists of Ice Beam. I taught him that from the TM we got in the Seafoam Islands. Earthquake, he still has that. Um, Surf. And he also learned Super Power, which is a fighting type move. Very strong move. Alright, and next on the list we have Owl, who is now also level 65. Owl now knows Hypnosis and Dream Eater, and Air Slash and Fly. That's about that. Who's next? Chicken. Chicken we have at level 66. Chicken knows Thunder. Uh, he still knows Focus Blast. And he also learned... Um, nom 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 nom. Uh, Power Gem, which is a rock type move. And he also... Um, he did know Discharge like he knew before. He didn't learn that move or a new move over that or anything, but I, for, to get through Mount Silver, you have to have Rock Climb. So uh, I kind of taught Chicken Rock Climb and got rid of Discharge since he has Thunder, which is stronger anyway. And um, after Mount Silver, after the final battle, we can just get rid of Rock Climb off of him and give him Discharge back from the move relearner. But for now, he has to have it, and that was a move that I could easily give up. Alright, so next we have Saizo, who is also level 66. He now knows Sword Dance. Uh, X Sizer or X Scissor, Night Slash, and what move is that? Oh, Iron Head, a very, very powerful steel type move. Alright, and then we've got Draco, who is level 69. Draco now knows Dragon Dance, Outrage, a very powerful dragon type move, um, Blizzard, and Dragon Rush. And then we come to Doom, who is level 71. Doom knows Fire Blast, Flamethrower, Dark Pulse, and now he knows Nasty Plot which uh, raises his special attack by two levels, so that is very, very good. Very good. And yeah, that's about it. So I already put up a repel, so let's start moving up through Mount Silver. Um, we're not going to collect any of the items this time through, unless they're like right up in our face. But what I will do is, after the final battle, I might either show a video of me on the way out getting the items. See, like, here's an item right here. Or I could just tell you guys the TMs and the important items that are found in this place after I get out of it. So anyway, there's a nice little outside area here on Mount Silver. Um, you don't want to go in that cave. There's an item in there, I believe, but the cave you want to go to to progress is this one right here. Anywho, um, where I trained is pretty much for the first part, for the first while. Um, I was training at the Elite Four rematches. Um, like I said before, they get a lot stronger. And... Um, yeah, you can fight them, and I would just fight through however many I could get through until I lost and level up that way. But then I figured out after a while that was kind of taking too long. So what I did is I then got some of the gym leader rematches and fought them and just used their weakness. And um, pretty much just leveled people up that way, and that seemed to go a lot quicker. So for those of you who are wondering the best places to grind if you're getting ready for the final battle or whatever... Um, it's probably against the gym leaders, because their Pokemon are quite high leveled now, and uh, it's pretty easy to use their weakness against all of their Pokemon, and you don't have to battle them all in a row like the Elite Four. And you can get unlimited battles against them, so that's good. Anyway, we're going to want to go through this door right here. Ah, go! And now we come outside of Mount Silver, and it's icy. It's getting icier as we get to the peak, so skip that little door and go in this one. Once again, a lot of these extra cave doors lead to items, as you can see, but we're just trying to get to the end of it. Yeah, we're going to skip that little rock climb spot and go here in this cave, and then go out this cave door. Alright, and now we are about to reach the peak. So yeah, the only, the only HM you need to get to the final battle is rock climb. Okay, and then go up in this middle one right here. Chicken rock climb attack. Alright, and rock climb right here up to this little cave entrance. And there are plenty of items here, peoples. Rock 
clown. All right, then we're gonna go through this little cave. And we are still not at the end. We're just about there. Okay, guys, I don't know, I'm scared. This battle is tough, I'm telling you. It is the toughest battle in the game, pretty much. This guy is no pushover. Voila. And here we are, at the peak of Mount Silver. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit. As Gator and us leave our footsteps in the sand, our repel wars out, but that's okay because I can see a trainer up there on the peak. But first, we need to equip our Pokemon with proper items. So let's take all the items off these guys that I had on them before, and I'll tell you guys what items I give to people. Okay, so we're gonna leave Draco with the uh, Dragon Fang, because that'll power up his Dragon-type moves if need to be done. Uh, we're gonna give Saizo the Metal Coat, because that powers up his Steel-type moves if need to be. Um, Gator. What I'm going to give him is an item I haven't showed you guys yet because I got it off screen. Um, if your mom gets enough money, she'll start buying you items, like I said. And she actually bought me the Choice Scarf. Which, uh, uh, let me show you. Looks like that. Right there. It's a blue and white striped scarf. Now what that does is if you give it to your Pokemon, it will drastically increase their speed. However, they can only use one move. But that's gonna come in handy with Gator, and I'll tell and I'll show you why in battle. Okay, and now we're going to equip Owl with the Quick Claw, so he can go first and maybe get some hypnosis off on people. And then Chicken, who is gonna be the probably most important person in this battle, is gonna get the Expert Belt, which is also an item I got from the mom. And uh, what it does is it makes your super effect super effective attacks. Um, a lot stronger. So, okay, we got everybody pretty much equipped. Let's save. We're gonna want to put Gator out in front with his choice scarf. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Oh, the anticipation builds as we save, waiting to fight the final battle. Who the hell is that? We'll find out next time on Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver.